we know that we're not meant to be on these little Indian reserves. Like my father said, systemic impoverishment is one of the biggest human rights weapons that they have. It's easier to fight us when we're poor. And when we don't have no land, when we just have 0.2% of the land, which is the Indian reserves, we're going to remain poor. And that's the human rights weapon that the Canadian government has been dependent on and has used and executed against us. And now we're saying no more, we're, we're going to leave these Indian reserves. So now this weapon is injunctions and, and um, we're hoping that do our work and advocacy that our children aren't going to have to deal with the same reality of them using injunctions to remove us. So to get drinking water, he comes here to the community's only water fountain. There's, a, there's like a film that settles at the bottom of every tank. It's full of bacteria and you can get sick, causes like diarrhea, eating problems and all that. Have you gotten sick from the water? Oh uh, yes, we did a few years ago. It was severe with uh, my daughter and my wife because uh, when they would eat, they couldn't keep anything down. With so many barriers to access safe drinking water, Zachary knows that some people watching from their comfortable homes down south might wonder why he stays. Because this is home. No matter how bad things are, how people look at it and view it, this is home because not only of the beauty, not only of the history, but as a community, we choose to make this our home.